most of us have credit cards these days, and if you use them right, they can be really useful financial tools. But if you use them badly, you can end up giving money hand over fist to the big banks. Follow lovemoney.com's credit card tips and make sure your credit card is your servant and not your master. I'll start with the most important tip of all. That's pay your bill in full each month. And that's the best thing to do. The worst thing to do is to just pay the minimum payment. On some cards, that can be as low as 2.25%. Let's imagine you have £2,000 of debt on a typical credit card and you make the minimum payment each month. It could take you 25 years to pay off the debt and cost you £2,591 in interest. So you'll end up paying more in interest than you did for the actual goods you bought in the first place. If you pay your bill in full each month, you won't pay any interest. In fact, on most cards, you'll benefit from an interest fee period of between 45 and 59 days. Now, as I say, it's best to pay off your bill in full. But if you do have some outstanding debts on your card and you just can't pay it off immediately, then the best solution is a 0% balance transfer card. Transfer your debt to a 0% card and you won't have to pay any interest on the debt for as much as a year, or even longer. Then your repayments can go towards your debt and not sky-high interest payments. Be careful though, most 0% cards charge a balance transfer fee, typically 2 or 3%. So how do the banks make money from 0% credit cards? Well, they're hoping you'll make a small mistake, such as late payment of a monthly bill, and then they can start charging you a rip-off interest rate. So be careful. Obey all the rules, and a 0% card can be a fantastic money-making tool. Lifetime balance transfer cards can be a great alternative to 0% cards. These cards do charge interest on your debt, normally in the region of 6 to 9%, but the deal doesn't end after a year. It lasts for, well, a lifetime. That can be very useful because with a 0% card, there's no guarantee you'll be able to get another card when your interest-free period ends. Lifetime cards give you a low-hassle way of avoiding rip-off interest rates on your debt. Never withdraw money from an ATM using your credit card. Interest will be charged from day one and the rate will be even higher than the rate for purchases. Don't use credit card checks for the same reasons. Insane rates and no interest-free holiday. There are some cards that give you free money. Every time you spend money with the card, you can get 0.5% or more of your spend back. Sadly, only people with excellent credit ratings can get these cards, but they're well worth having if you can get one. There are also cards that give you rewards, maybe air miles or money off at your favourite high street shop. Another positive move is to sign up for a 0% on purchases card. These are like normal cards, except there's a special introductory period where you don't have to pay interest on any purchases. So you could get a new card, buy a big new telly, and not pay any interest for all that time. Just remember to make sure you have enough money to pay off the cost of the TV when the nine month period is over. The banks are hoping that you'll transfer your debt to a card and then use it for spending. If you do that, you're likely to be caught by a really nasty trick called negative payment hierarchy. In other words, whenever you make a repayment, that money will go towards your cheapest debt first. Let's imagine you take out a card that offers a 0% balance transfer deal for a year, and also a 0% on purchases deal for three months. You transfer £2,000 of debt to the card, and you also buy a fancy new laptop for £1,000. You're not paying interest on the debt or the cost of the laptop. Brilliant! 
At the end of the three months, the 0% period for purchases is over. So you pay back £1,000, the cost of the laptop. Then you won't have to pay any interest, right? Sadly not. Trouble is, the credit card company puts that £1,000 towards the balance transfer debt. So you start paying interest on the laptop. You only stop paying interest when you've paid off all the £2,000 balance transfer and the £1,000 for the laptop. You've been had. The best way around this problem is to have one card for spending and another card for debt. In other words, when you take out a balance transfer card, never use it for spending. So there you have it, seven tips on how to get the best out of your credit card. Make sure your credit card makes you richer, not poorer.